simple. Tis the season, time for Stuff a Bus 2018. Today, we're gonna learn how to stuff a bus. Takes a while, but you gotta go from store to store, and uh, that's exactly what I did. I found the perfect bus to stuff today. Because you wanna find one where you can fit as much stuff into it as possible. So first off, you gotta cut some of the stuff that are on here. Get rid of the tags. This one actually comes with uh, stuffing, but you're not gonna eat this, right? So. Right. The key ingredient when stuffing a bus is an onion. And you want to find a nice, fair-sized onion. It's the best one I could find. And now, a lot of people, they take the skin off of the onion, but little did you know that as far as uh, the skin is concerned, there's actually 700 times more nutrients in the skin. So just keep it on there. Uh, you can cut off the end if you want. But the rest, just, just keep the skin right on there, and you can cook it with skin in it. Now, one thing I wanted to mention when cutting onions, and this is really important, is that you want to breathe as deeply as possible, especially through your nose. That way you won't cry. So, see, and then you won't won't get the tears in your eyes. I was watching um, the latest episode of This Is Us a couple days ago and it just has me so emotional, you know, like Jack and his brother and the family. I gotta go pee. Sorry about that. So now you take your onion, skins it all, remember, and I'm about to wash my hands. Take your onion and you want to place that right in the bus. All right. Get all that good onion. It's going to be very, very tasty. Now you can uh, spice up the onion with uh, salt and pepper. A little bit of uh, Italian seasoning is what I like to use. Just do this. A little more. And now the key to a good stuffing outside of obviously the spices in the onion is bread. Now I saved my crusts, I left them in the freezer. That should be, that should be okay. Take the crusts out of the freezer. You wanna save your crusts for at least a year in advance. Just throw them in the freezer throughout the year. And, oh, they're a little hard now. I should have had these laying out. So what we're gonna do, so you gotta kinda spitball sometimes on the fly is we're gonna wrap the bread in tin foil. This is a little trick that I learned so that it'll defrost the bread quickly. You wrap it in the tin foil, and then you just throw that into the microwave. And I'll you know, put it in for about a minute or so. And then just let it be in the microwave for about a minute. Whoa! What the? What the? Bad idea. Forget about that. We'll just uh, put them in frozen. All right. So chop up your bread into nice little squares. They'll thaw in the in the oven. It's fine. Throw those in there. A few more spices. 
close up your bus. And there we have it. Now, oh, I should have preheat the oven. Boy, this is going good today. Preheat your oven to 350. Now that the oven is preheated, you throw it in there at 350. Make sure the racks are adjusted properly. And throw her in the oven. You wanna bake that for about mm, 60 minutes or so. So while our stuffed bus is cooking, I just want to send a friendly reminder to those that can help out. Toys for Tots campaign is on now until December 19th. Always a great time to uh, donate to the cause, the holiday season you can uh, give to those families in need, and of course to the food bank as well. So non-perishable food items and toys, very important this time of the year. All the information you need is on our website at kicks.fm. All right, so we've cooked our uh, bus, and here we go end product. And that's how you stuff a bus.